Hi guys, welcome to Sample of TV. On this lesson, I'm going to show you how you simplify or how you add or subtract algebra when you have different algebras. So we're going to do expressions with different algebras. Okay. Algebra. What do I mean when I'm saying expression with different algebras? I mean, let's say, for example, let's say if you have 10x plus 2y plus 6x plus 11y. How do you solve this one? Or why are we saying we have different algebras? Because if you check, you have x, y, x, y. So when you're solving expression with different algebras, how do you do that? It's simple and straightforward. You just have to collect like terms and simplify. So by collecting like terms, those with x, so it's going to be 10x plus 6x plus 2y plus 11y. Then now you simplify. So 10x plus 6x is going to be 16x. Then 2y plus 11y is going to be 13y. This will be your final answer. From here, you don't simplify further. Why? We don't have like terms anymore. Let me uh, explain this so that you completely understand it. Let's say x is representing dogs and y is representing cats. Can you say 16 dogs plus 13 cats? It's impossible. How are you going to call your answer? So it means if you don't have like terms anymore, you don't simplify further. This will be your final answer. And as you'll be collecting like terms, I want to take note of this, you collect like terms with their signs. Let us do Another example. Let's say you have 6a plus 2b minus 11a minus 10b. How do you simplify this one? It's simple and straightforward. Okay, let's the board be near side that you completely see. It's simple and straightforward here. Yeah. How do you simplify if you just collect like terms? And as I told you, as you'll be collecting like terms, you collect like terms with their signs. Yes. Now, 6a plus 2b. What is our answer? We cannot simplify these ones. So, we have to collect like terms. So, it's going to be 6a minus 11a plus 2b minus 10b. As you are seeing, how are we simplifying these ones? We are collecting like terms. Now let's simplify. And as you'll be collecting like terms, as I told you, you collect like terms with their signs. 6a minus 11a, our answer is going to be minus 5a. Then 2b minus 10b, our answer is going to be minus 8b. This will be our final answer. And as you can see, there are no more like so we are not going to simplify further. Let's uh, do another example. What if you have this one now? 15m plus 3 minus 5m. As I told you, collect like terms and simplify. So we are going to collect those with m. It will be 15m minus 5 m plus 3 now 15 m minus 5 m plus 3 15 m minus 5 m our answer is going to be 10 m plus 3 why is it we are not simplifying further here because this 3 doesn't have algebra so they are not like terms meaning this will be our final answer so it's simple and straightforward guys what you have to do when you are simplifying expression with different algebras or expression with different terms. By saying different terms, I mean terms sometimes like this one that doesn't have algebra. How do you solve that one? You just have to collect like terms and simplify. Right, let us do another example. What if you have something like this? 10xy plus 7m minus 2xy. As usual, collect like terms and simplify. This is simple and straightforward, guys. There's nothing that is complicated here. And as you'll be collecting like terms and simplifying, remember, as we were simplifying algebra, we said you simplify the coefficient. If you don't know what a coefficient is, 
you have to watch math lesson three which is about algebra on sample of youtube channel so this is going to be 10 xy minus 2 xy plus 7m and remember as you be collecting like terms you collect them with their signs here yeah, this is minus 2xy that's why it's minus 2xy here this is plus 7m that's why it's plus 7m there right which will be equal to 10 minus 2 is going to be 8xy plus 7m there is no a step further because we don't have like terms anymore right let us do another example There's something that I want you to take note of. Let's say we have 100 a b minus 20 a plus a b. There's something I want you to take note of. A, b and a, they are not like terms. So if there are three or four or two algebras, they must have both algebras, all of them. That is when we call them like terms so this one and this one they are the ones that are like terms not with this one so we collect like terms to be 100 a b plus a b minus 20 a and as i told you as you be collecting like terms you collect them with their sides right 100 a b plus a b is gonna be 101 a b remember there's a one coefficient there which is invisible right minus 20 a this is going to be our final answer why we don't have like terms anymore right let us uh do another example even when you are given three different algebras you still solve them the same way let's say you have 20 w plus 3x plus 5w plus 2y minus 3x minus y. You still collect like terms and simplify. Right, so let's start with those with w, 20w plus 5w. Remember, as you'll be collecting like terms, you collect them with their signs. Plus 3x minus 3x plus 2y minus y. Like this. What is the next step? The next step, we are going to simplify them. Because now we collected like terms. So now we are going to simplify them. Right. It's going to be 25w. 3x minus 3x, that is going to be 0. Okay. You want to say plus 0, it's fine. Right. Then 2y minus y is going to be plus y. So our final answer 25w plus y. Because remember, 0 is the same to write it or not to write it. It's one and the same thing. So what you have to take note of is if you are simplifying algebra or if you are simplifying expression with different algebras, you have to collect like terms and simplify right i hope that uh you completely understand how to do this now so in conclusion when you are solving or when you are simplifying expression with different algebras you have to collect like terms and simplify by saying like terms we mean those with the same algebra those are the ones that we call like terms so now i'm going to give you the exercise number one x plus 5y minus 10x minus 10y number 2 100 b plus y minus 200 b plus 10y i hope that is clear Number three, 5m minus 10n plus 
1000 m plus 2n number 4 3b minus 10 plus 8b number 5 17m minus 11q minus 25m number 6 2v plus 3x minus 10v. Number 7. 5 minus 100b plus 11q minus q plus 3b. Okay. Number 8, 9, and 10. I'm going to write it on top. Don't forget to subscribe for more lessons that are beneficial like this if you didn't do so yet. And also, you must click on the bell button for notifications. You click on that after you subscribe, you have to click on the bell button for notifications like that. When I upload any lesson, any exercise, you uh, see a notification. Number 8, 11Q plus 3M minus... 11 Q minus 3 M number 9 15 minus 26 X plus 19 number 10 which is the last one five hundred and eleven B Minus 11 plus 511 Q minus B. That is our number 10. Okay. I hope that uh, guys you completely benefited from this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe for more beneficial lessons like this. Also, Tell your friends and family and anyone that you know that is struggling with mathematics. Believe me, after they uh, you introduce them to this YouTube channel, they subscribe, click on that notification uh, bell and watch each and every lesson from lesson one until uh, all the other lessons, I'm telling you, they are going to thank you. And they will understand that no mathematics is not difficult. It's just that you have to um, it, it must be explained perfectly to you. It must be explained nicely to you. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos that are beneficial like this. Stay focused.